Hello, everyone. So just a short update. It's it's 1 a.m. here in Germany. 1.30. 1.30, yes. 1.22 to be exact. Um, and don't ask us why we are awake, but I think <laughs> we both were really excited for this particular track and we had to... Super excited. So, super excited, super excited. Um, we just couldn't wait to react to it and we had to cross all the hurdles to record this particular video just because we wanted to um, listen to it with all of you together. We know we have been um, doing few reactions a bit late, but we have been occupied as we... Um, the the thing is that, the yeah. thing is that we have been talking about this uh, over messages, mm -hmm. right? What we want to do is talk about it proper, yeah. right? And uh, sometimes it's uh, hard to sleep without some things uh, undone. So, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. But this collaboration, I think um, we were excited about uh, when we first heard that Sunidhi Nayak and Arnob, um, along with Adit Rahman, Adit Rahman is one of the house band members, if I'm not correct, uh, which has featured heavily in both seasons. Um, and this time he is on the front seat with the main composition. So. We, we just want to listen it with all of you together. So let's get it started without any further delay. Okay, let's do it. Three, two, one, play. Studio Bangla, season two. This sitar intro reminds me of something. So we talked about the melody, but... Like all the guitar yeah. players are in their own enclave, right? This also reminds me of vital signs. There's a vibe of it. season that he is gonna have electronic music yeah in the next season 
right? I actually love the the use of synth bass throughout this track. Yeah, absolutely, right? Very subtle, not too overpowering. Look at the lighting. Mm. the guitar will match the notes yep the same exact note when she sings when when she sings oh this. the guitar and the like this part is just so exquisite This part, man. This part, right there. So duet was a your was your favorite part, was it? It was. It was. I, I'll yeah. I'll come to that. I'll come to that. I yeah, it was just it was my part. least favorite part. For oh some no no no! <laughs> I don't want to be in an argument at one thirty a.m. in right the morning. Now. Yeah. <laughs> but you yeah, go to bed angry. <laughs> <laughs> this is. How I mean, you say that? how how could you how could you how could you okay okay so for me this is an extremely um i would say adventurous attempt to fuse two different genres um mm -hmm. I, I, i'm saying this because blending classic rag with modern instrument usually becomes a very very daunting ask and i would like to say kudos to alit rahman for doing that um i know that merging and blending of genres is synonymous to coke studio bangla and to coke studio in general not only coke studio bangla uh, we listen to 
fusion of Kavali and funk in the last track. Uh, we listen to rap being merged with rock, electronic music with festivities genre, and so on. I, I personally think, still, I personally think that touching the classical genre uh, that is based on a rag does not pull off every time. Um, but I, I absolutely, absolutely love this particular track. Um, for me, the song works. If, if the song has to work, it has a beautiful bass melody that hooks you and few aha moments as you say few aha moments in this track i had quite a few such moments and i, I will dig deeper but but you go you go then mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah for for me uh, as you said that it was a very adventurous uh, experiment right mm -hmm. and it was it was and i think um, not too bad one as well uh, it worked at work mm -hmm. there were some moments which you know jolted me and mm -hmm. every time so for example every time the, the first instance of sax and trombone comes on <clears throat> every single time i was like yeah what what the hell right mm -hmm. <laughs> why mm -hmm. did you do that mm -hmm. and um yeah this seems out of place but then <clears throat> onwards every single time i feel like okay they did it really well you know it's mm -hmm. working it's working mm -hmm. The, the first mm -hmm. time it comes on, it, it always feels jarring. But then onwards, I had this feeling, okay, they made it work. Mm -hmm. I think there was, um, it wasn't that subtle, the introduction. The introduction mm -hmm. was very stark. Yeah. Like very sharp. I completely agree. Yeah. So, you know, uh, things like that. The, the, the final duet, the transition to that final duet was also not, you know, very, very smooth, very subtle. Mm -hmm. um but again you know when you get into it uh, i i have this feeling mm -hmm. i always think that yeah you know what they made it work they somehow mm -hmm. made it work mm -hmm. and this is where this experiment stands out that again as you said very adventurous very uh, ambitious but they made it work mm -hmm. i mean fusing fusing classical with western music with western oh. Uh, I mean, even the modern, very modern, modern electronic music, yeah. right, mm -hmm. um, is already fusion, right, East mm -hmm. and West, and mm -hmm. um, already very. I mean, this rock, this 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 um, this, this level of classical singing, right, yeah. with yeah. with Western instruments, it's to make it work. To you know, um, is already uh, an achievement, but then they are now smart. Mm -hmm. um which yeah for for me for me <clears throat> honestly i mean as much as we love or not um we have mentioned that um from our north mouth bangla sounds way more beautiful mm -hmm. right the, mm -hmm. what i thought that our north part only worked because our was singing it <laughs> you know oh, okay. only okay. because of his voice only because of his voice Mm. And I would rather have the Sunidis part uh, throughout the track, you know. I would mm. just want to listen mm. to that part, you know, in a in a solo experience. Mm. With whatever was happening with her, you know, all the all the bass, all the synths, and all the electronic music, and the guitars, and sitars, and, you know, the drums. That part stood out, that was brilliant, like exceptional for me mm, exceptional mm. the way they made it work with rag yamuna mm -hmm, wonderful mm -hmm. wonderful arnav's part arnav's part feels very you know very common uh, the, the, i mean it's it's very modern and mm -hmm. because it's modern we have been listening to it it feels nothing new you know mm -hmm. the only thing is it's it's arnav that is singing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he stands out, his voice stands out for us. <clears throat> and that made it work. But yeah, oh man, what can I say about the these few aha moments that we have had? But I think Sunidhi, to be honest, for me, stole the show. Not only Absolutely. through her vocal performance, audio performance, but also visual performance. Yep absolutely her presence her presence itself she owned it like, right. she, i mean you mentioned it she owned she, it completely she was she was like a conductor of an orchestra ah, right she, yeah she was her, i mean it, it's 
the when visually you i this is the second time i'm uh, watching this video right and the first time i watched it i was in awe of the way she was conducting herself mm-hmm. and the you, you know the amount of stage presence she had right the uh, while performing yep. was just amazing just amazing. absolutely absolutely so uh, i completely agree with you um on two i uh, actually two things did not work for me for the first one i completely agree with you the introduction of saxophones was also a bit jarring for me in the beginning but now i have made my peace with it and the, in the later part <laughs> I, in the later parts i think saxophone works brilliantly for me personally yeah. um yeah. the second the second thing that did not work for me was the first transition from sonidhi to arnab it it felt a bit disconnected to me but the way it was handed over back from arnab to sunidhi was brilliant i was wasn't beautiful. expecting yeah it was extremely well done extremely well done um but the first transition for me personally did not work when i heard the first 4 minutes um and that was it but now when i keep on listening to it on loop uh, i mean i i just love the experience overall about this particular song primarily because of um first thing as you mentioned I I personally love Sunidhi Naik's singing through and through. Every time so uh, she is your recent most favorite. I I'm a huge fan. I mean I'm a huge huge fan of Sunidhi Naik's voice. I I keep mentioning a track called um uh Bondu Roho Sathe. Uh it's a pity that we haven't listened to that track together on on this channel but we will. I have become a huge fan of Sunidhi Naik's voice since I have listened to that beautiful rendition. Her voice, I feel, is hypnotic for me. And here it was ethereal and flawless. What a command she has yeah, on each yeah. and every single note. And the second most beautiful thing for for me in this particular track was the sitar in this song. It was it was fitting for What obvious reasons. What was reason. happening with the sitar? What was happening with the sitar? So oh, the intro, the middle part. They, I mean, I I have this bug, this worm in my head that, you know, I've heard this before. Heard this before. I don't know. I had this feeling. <laughs> so it's 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 not like it's a copy or something, but you know, no. I have this feeling is. So I shared it with you about the track, no. and then we, uh, I mean, thanks to you, we recognize that uh, this is following um, a of a, a very fav- favorite childhood songs of ours. Right, mm-hmm. it's called mm-hmm. Andolan. Andolan. Although it's based on ra- rag Yamuna, right, and there are many, many, many tracks based on rag Yamuna, mm-hmm. but Andolan, right, and it was bugging me that okay, there were two things: the sitar and the Sunidhi's part. I have, I've heard yeah. some, but again, yeah. it was based on that. It was, it was based the on sitar. Yes. Sitar. I mean, as, as I said, it was for obvious reasons when you are doing classical music. a few instruments that come into your mind are sitar is probably one of the obvious choices that you would uh bring in when doing a classical rag rag um and the core choice of instrument being sitar was really apt for me um and throughout this particular track it was done brilliantly um and what i love the most about this particular track since they have they have painted the picture of two contrasting um identities i would say in terms of music in terms of personality as well because if you if you see on the set design yeah. as well the isolation that they have sunithi's part or sunithi's room is extremely elegant it has very old fashion or uh how should i say classy stuff in the room uh the lamps and everything but on the other hand the arnob he's in a very simplistic very modern very very slick sort of room and he has a um electronic guitar in the background so the contrast that they have exactly visually they they actually done it in the music and obviously it was portrayed visually as well also all the classical instruments were on the on the uh, sunidhi exactly. side exactly exactly on, on the all the electronic and modern instruments were modern the, instruments yeah, were, were, were on that side and the 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 last two things that were brilliant for me were first of all the juggle bandi bit that we had a very small bit of sitar and the guitar um, but how beautifully they combined it they blended it in the end it was really a very brilliant experience for me personally and the the last chorus uh, when 
Mithun Chakra is playing the beats and they jump to the yeah. last chorus. That actually does the deal for me every time. It's it's my goosebump moment for this particular track because all the instruments are, including the guitar riffs, just focus on the, the six minute mark after, after the six minute mark. How they have jumped to the chorus is with full blown instruments, including the guitar riffs. And I simply love it. I, I did not enjoy the overall melody of Arnob's chorus as much, but that particular bit just, it's, it's phenomenal. It does the job every time for me. And I just wait for that particular bit every time whenever I listen to this particular track. Yeah, for, for me, the song uh, climaxes at, um, at uh, when the when they have the Jogalamandi with sitar and sunidhi and the guitars, right? Mm. That's the moment for me, and that's the aha thing. You know, that's the most brilliant um, uh, outcome of that particular track. But mm. one thing to note, apart from the skills and how skillfully it was done between all three aspects, like guitars, sunidhi, and and sitar, <clears throat> is how they made it work with sitar and guitars, right? So yeah. uh, notice that they were all electronic guitars, but that they, the way they were set up, the, the distortions, the, you know, the, the pitches that were set were Absolutely. actually made in a manner that would work with guitar. Oh, sorry, sitar. Right? Sitar. Hmm. So, you know, it, it could have been distorted in a manner that would just wouldn't work with sitar. True, right? true. At, at Absolutely. a level, at a pitch. So, all of the all of the electronic guitars were set up in that way, mm -hmm. and that that's you know th these are little details that stands out for me. You know, no attention way. to detail in uh, so as you mentioned, you know, in visually lighting, lighting, the how lighting. brilliant the lighting brilliant. was, brilliant, right? So th these are the things that you note that the attention to detail amongst everything was so brilliant, and you know th that's. So uh, I was, um, you know, I, I told you that I, I heard this the first time when I was commuting mm -hmm. outside, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I had my AirPods on. Mm -hmm. And this song worked with Sunidhi. And, you know, when Arnok came on with AirPods, it just didn't work. And mm -hmm. nothing mm -hmm. was working pretty much. But then with the different headphones where you, you, know, you, you can experience the bass and all the elements properly, mm -hmm. Then you note these little things, these yeah. tiny things, the, how mm -hmm. brilliantly they were done. So for me, that was a climax um, because also I, th I thought that the transition towards it, to it was a bit mm -hmm. not subtle, mm -hmm. not as subtle as could have been. Mm -hmm. Or maybe, you know, I haven't made my peace with it as well. Right? <laughs> um, but also because I, I felt that that moment, uh, the Jokalbadni moment was the climax for me. And, anything afterwards would just be you know um, I get it. Yeah, a byproduct <laughs> byproduct byproduct mm. for me so mm. the again all the details all the everything was brilliant sunidhi's voice her singing sitar the the the, the Metan chakras you know the backing vocals backing, backing vocals. beautiful beautiful backing vocals. Uh, cl clapping on every second beat right it, Absolutely, good point. Was, good point. Everything was working so 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 well, but but yeah. So one more thing that Arnaud promised us last season that uh, he would incorporate, he would introduce a lot of, he would use a lot of electronic music, right? Mm. Uh, because we have been pretty much complaining throughout the first season, <laughs> or not complaining, but uh, we have mentioned, we had mentioned, mentioned that uh, mm. we missed that part because we are mm. a huge fan of it but the way they are used, right? So we have seen in, on other platforms how they're overused, how they're overblown. You know, mm. the dependency on it is just, you know, too much. And that pretty much ruins a lot of aspects of, of tracks, right? Mm. Here, it's, you know, just right, just right. Done Not right, too much, absolutely. you know? Absolutely, exactly, like done right. Enough of it, but the way it's adding a lot of flavor. That the sense so much flavor, this electronic keys, the you, know, you know the way they were incorporated, the, the arrangement was it's, it's adds so much flavor. When we talk about electronic music, electric guitars also, you know, electro yeah. electronic guitars are also electronic music. But uh, when we 
mentioned the modern electronic instruments there, mm. there comes sense and you know all the octopads and octopads and everything of, uh, mm. and yeah the, the, i'm forgetting the names anyways mm. so the way they were used is also just sheer brill brilliance absolutely absolutely um from my side i think just two small things that i want to mention on a personal note you you brought a brilliant point regarding the clapping i completely for, forgot about it whoever thought of that clapping bit just hats off to i think it was aziz rehman maybe who, who was the main composer but you that haven't is... mentioned kumuk so far oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> how can i forget kumuk yeah but anyways the clapping bit was just beautiful um and one last bit from my side is that i think this particular track would be or could be used in a lot of pre-wedding scenarios uh we now have a lot of pre-wedding photo sessions yes. and all those things and in this track the kind of desire the yearning the weight has that has been emoted also especially the by playfulness Sudhi, the playfulness the throughout playfulness, this particular right? track right so this rag yamuna um I've, wherever we have heard it doesn't have the the playfulness the you know mm. the the teasing element in it this had it this had it. yeah you know True. Uh, in some places i felt like this had this playfulness this had this teasing because uh it was meant to happen you know and it was just about waiting to happen <laughs> uh from what i understood from the lyrics right lyrics so yeah. that that element with ragamana was pretty well done absolutely absolutely all right let's let's conclude it here otherwise we would be sitting at the 3 am discussing about this particular track um and we want to keep ourselves uh well rested for the upcoming tracks healthy <laughs> healthy yeah. of course yeah. uh so that we can jump to the other tracks in future um so we, we will just leave it here let us know your thoughts around this particular track as well um i know there would be contrasting reactions i suppose um but we would love to be educated from all of you we just love the comments um whatever you guys throw in the kind of background that you give needless to say that we read them all so just let us know your thoughts and we'll catch up on the next one until then take care bye 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 bye